So here's another script that I uh, I borrowed from my main AutoHotKey script. Uh, so if I hit Alt I, it'll go through and it'll pull my. Let me just go ahead and run it. It goes and grabs and look how fast I hit the hotkey and bam, uh, it gets the public IP address and my private IP address. Your private IP address um, is a, actually a, a variable AutoHotKey can detect for you. The public one, what we do is uh, we call a function here, this get IP, and it comes into here and it runs the WinHTTP request, which is a com object, uh, and it does the, the query to it. Got a couple headers here set. You know, I can test if this is needed. I'm not sure if it is. Um, and then uh, if the response is not an error, if it is an error, it's going to show this message box. I probably should have this in bracketed and then have it just return. But I'll add that. Let's go ahead and add that now. Right? So, uh, that message box and return. That way it doesn't keep going forward. We're done. I can get this here. So, and if not, it's going to return the uh, status. So um, I, the problem is I don't have it come up in there, so I can't test this above part, but that should be fine. So let's uh, run it. Yeah. Well, I, and there we go. It's also, by the way, if you notice here, I copy it all to my clipboard. That way, um, it's on my clipboard. I can just paste it wherever I want, in case I want one or the other. I, I didn't like have to copy the message box, then go paste it, then go grab what I want it. This way, it automatically shoves it to uh, let's go ahead and let's comment these two out and let's launch it and uh, hit key. There we go. So I don't I don't even need those, right? That's just two less lines. That's it. So great easy script. Um, I'll go push this one back into my main script now that I've updated it. And uh, yeah, pretty slick, I think.